Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna do a sit down video. Um, I figured I haven't done any story times on my channel yet and now would be the perfect time to do it because I'm extremely bored. I'm in winter break and I decided not to work, which I don't know why I did that. And I definitely regret not working for a full month because it's extremely boring. Anyway, so I was sitting here and I was, was trying to think of what I could do for a video and I came up with doing a story time. So if you're one of my closer friends, you probably have heard this story. By the title of this video, you probably already know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be telling you guys the infamous bacon story. Disclaimer to you bacon lovers, you might look at bacon a little bit different after this story. I know that I do. So when I was in fourth grade, I was nine years old and I was always, I've always been pretty small, so I don't know what a normal nine-year-old weighs, but I was a little itty-bitty thing. I still am. I'm only uh, 4'11 and about 105 pounds, so I'm extremely small. I always have been that way. One day, my mom, she was making breakfast. She must have been making like pancakes or something. There was a bunch of bacon sitting on the counter, and my mom walked away for a second. Now, me, as a nine-year-old, I probably sneaky and mischievous so I said to myself well mom's not in the kitchen so she can't tell me I can't eat the bacon well I didn't take into account that too much bacon would be an issue so what I did was I literally stuffed all of the bacon inside of my mouth I ate pretty much every single piece that was on the table or that was on the counter and there was a, I mean it was enough bacon to serve me, my two sisters, and my parents. So there was five of us. I don't know the exact amount, but it was a lot. So here I am, and I get in trouble, you know, for eating all of the bacon. But I was a happy little girl because I got all the bacon in the world. Well, unfortunately, the next day, it was actually probably that night, I started getting a really bad stomach ache. I didn't really take into account that uh, bacon is not meant to be eaten in large portions like that. I didn't go to school the next day because I felt so sick. My mom just must have not thought about it, but I, I ended up getting really sick throughout that week and it was getting progressively worse. So then by the end of the week, my parents were like, okay, like this is ridiculous. You need to go back to school. It's not, they, they basically thought that I was faking being sick. But the, the reality was my stomach was in so much pain. It was cramping. It was, it was just unlike anything I had ever experienced. And I have had the flu by then and, you know, different colds, but nothing was this painful. And I said, no, 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 you guys don't understand. I can't go to school. So my parents were like, okay, what is going on? Because this is not normal behavior. And I loved going to school. I, I didn't ever have any issues. I just loved learning. I always was like that and I still am like that today. So they just thought it was odd that I was just, by now I had missed a whole week of school. So they're like, okay, what's going on? Are you being bullied? Is there an issue with your teacher? Is there something that you're not telling us? Like what's going on with you? Because this is not normal behavior. And I told them like, I don't feel good. And the fact of the matter was I was throwing up but it's possible that I could have been making myself do it in their eyes, you know. It was to the point where I was no longer able to eat anything solid. And in fact, um, within the next couple of days, it was to the point where even like jello or even water, I would just spit back up. My body was rejecting everything and I could no longer use the bathroom. So this is when my parents started to worry because they were like, okay, it's clearly something is going on what could it possibly be? And as parents of three little kids, it's definitely relatable that they just didn't take into consideration that I consumed a large amount of bacon and that that would be like causing all of these problems. So my parents took me to the hospital and they were like, look, she's not eating anything. She's throwing everything up. She can no longer use the bathroom and she's complaining of really bad stomach pains. So what they did was they did an ultrasound of my stomach and I kid you not, 
the doctor was so surprised. I don't know that he had ever seen anything like this before, but he showed us a picture. And if you can just imagine, you know, if you've ever seen an ultrasound of somebody, you can kind of see the outline of their stomach. He said, this big circle here is her stomach being completely outlined in bacon grease. Completely outlined in bacon grease. He's like, and you can literally see little bubbles of grease floating around her stomach and popping. And it was the weirdest thing to look at, but at least we knew what was going on. Well, my mom was like, oh, of course that makes sense. She ate a whole family serving of bacon last week. But by then, I mean, I was so malnutritioned. I lost... I honestly probably lost like anywhere from five to 10 pounds. I obviously was not eating and my, I was just so drained and tired and I wanted this to be over with. Neighbors like walking past right now. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> I'm like using my window since it's daylight. There's like good lighting here and um, it's just a little awkward, you know, when you're sitting here talking to your phone and somebody's walking by with their dog, so disregard that. Doctor told my mom that it was nothing to be worried about. I was, it was gonna take a couple of days, but he was gonna, um, it wasn't a prescription per se. Um, they, they could have given me one, but I was so young and little, they didn't really wanna do that. They wanted to try other things first, so they um, told my mom to go to Walgreens. I can't remember what the actual drink was called, but it was like, probably like a 12 ounce bottle. It was a glass bottle and there was like two flavor options. One was like fruit punch or something like that. And then the other one was citrus lemon. So we went with that one and it was a little bitter. Um, it like wasn't the best tasting, but it wasn't horrible. They told me to put so much and then mix just a little bit of water. That way it's just a little bit easier and a little less bitter basically. I would drink like a full eight ounce glass of that I don't know what it is. It, it's not like a laxative or any, well, it kind of is, but it's just, it's different than a laxative. Um, but let me tell you, I had a week's worth of food in my stomach and this thing basically dissolved the uh, bacon grease border in my stomach. Um, everything came out and I'm not gonna get too much into that cause it's kind of gross. But let's just say I spent quite a lot of time in the bathroom for the next couple of days and then I was able to eat again and it ended, ended well, basically. Um, but I never would have thought that eating a, a food, which most people love and I did love, would cause me to go through all of that pain and just like, it was a huge struggle that could have been avoided if I would have just been logical and not ate all of the bacon. I know people are probably gonna ask, and people have asked me in, in the past, like, do you eat bacon now? And the answer is yes. I limit myself to three pieces. I never thought that eating bacon would cause so many problems. But anyway, so yes, I do eat bacon today. It, I didn't eat bacon for a long time though afterwards. Like I really had to convince myself that I missed it that much, which I did. and. I still love bacon, but I will never do that again because it was just horrible. It was traumatizing. It just wouldn't recommend it, right? My digestive system has not been the same since then. I've become lactose intolerant. I don't know if that's like directly correlated with that, but it wouldn't surprise me. My metabolism is still like really high, which I don't, I probably like, has something to do with like why I digest my food so quickly. I still have issues from that time when I was younger. But other than that, there's like no serious health problems that came from it. I was able to bounce back pretty quickly afterwards, but I definitely would not recommend eating a whole family size serving of bacon, especially as a nine year old, but honestly, it could probably destroy anybody like of any age. So just wanted to share that story with you guys. Cause like, People always ask me like, oh, what is something like that people don't know about you? Or like, what is something that's odd or just like what people just wouldn't expect, you know? And then I always think of this story because it's so bizarre and crazy 
but it actually happened and now I can warn people like be careful with your bacon because you don't want to end up in a hospital like I did. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this story time, let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe and then like and share this video. But yeah, let me know if you like these and I have tons and tons of stories that are anywhere from like extremely embarrassing to like what the hell was I thinking? But anyway, yeah, I would like to start like a story time series on my channel because these are easy, you know, and it's just all stuff that I feel like people just might relate to or <laughs> just, you know, if anybody wants to sit down and laugh for a couple of minutes. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I just love the support for those of you who come back every single time to watch one of my videos. I love running into people and them telling me that, you know, they watch all my videos and that just means the world to me. I hope that everybody had a good Christmas season and uh, New Year's. All right, guys, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.